Hi, Gary from Mr. G Shave. I think this is uh, shave of the day number 89 and straight shave could be 19, I think. Um, so yeah, um, today uh, I'm following the sterling, uh, it seems everybody's using sterling soaps at least once this week, so uh, I'm going to be using sterling soaps, but uh, let's do the hardware and, and then I'll walk through what I'm using as I shave. So um, I, can't rem I can't remember the name of this company, but I'll put it in the description below or I'll put it up on screen here in a sec, you know, when, when this is being loaded, uploaded. But it's an FB, something Dubois. Francois Dubois, maybe he's from Canada. And he makes these brushes. This is a synthetic knot. I think it's a 24 or 26 mil. Um, and it's got a pine cone in it. So there you go. Stunning, stunning work of art. So I'm using that. I'm going to be using my copper bowl. Hopefully it'll be big enough. And for the first time ever, I'm going to use a Kamisori blade, a Kamisori razor. Um, it's a shavette, so it's not a full Kamisori razor. Um, and it's got a half Gillette Wilkinson sword blade in there. So, um, just showing you the razor in detail. There you go. I got this off uh, Bill or Billy. Um, and he's basically told me I can keep it, um, so I'm I'm over the moon. Um, but a little bit apprehensive because this looks like one hell of a bit of gear. I've never used the Kamasori. Um, oh, and I've had uh, a delivery today. I've sent my uh, Vec razor to Jim Will Shave so he can try it out, and I uh, just got my Kismet um, version of the Vec. So that's uh, that's arrived. I was going to use that, but then I thought, you know what, I'm going to try the Kamasori. But there you go. So that's what I'm using today, and I'll walk you through the software as I use it. Be right back. Right, I'm back. I've lathered up um, in the bowl. I've just got to put the pre-shave on. So let's get some water on the subject. Now my pre-shave is One Society pre-shave oil. So that's it there. Now I think this is cedar wood and lime, but I'm not 100% certain. Um, and it doesn't say on the bottle. So just one squirt of that. <clears throat> Maybe not cedar wood and lime. <laughs> I think that's bay rum. That's bay rum. So, I hope everybody's had a good week so far, and I hope you all enjoyed my Marathon Monday three tag shave. God, 40 odd minutes. Wow, I overdid it a little bit there. I'm gonna try and keep this one uh, slightly shorter than that one, if, it, if that's possible. Um, so, pre-shave is on. As I said, I'm already lathered up. This sterling, ah, I haven't shown you, have I? So the soap I'm using is, let's put the lid on, sterling Arcadia. So as I say, everybody's using sterling this week. I forget, it's a, ster a celebration of sterling soaps. Um, sort of a bit of an homage to them, which I'm all for. I mean, they make some amazing soaps and the variety of soaps that they produce is out of this world. So more than happy to uh, give them a nod with this shave. Um, right, so I have got a rather lot of lather here. I mean, look at that. That is stunning. I don't know whether you can see the sheen on that as well as I can, but... Right, here we go. Oh, the scent on this is a, I think it's a dupe of Terre de, de Hermes, or however you pronounce it. Um, but look at this lather. I used IMCDB's method for building, oh, I'm blooping everywhere. 
which is exactly what I want because I need this to be super hydrated because it's the first time I'm using a Kamasori razor but yeah this this soap is a, a sort of a dupe or inspired by Thierre or Thierre de, de Hermes or Hermes um, so yeah I'll, this is really nice really nice one of Andy Wilson's favorites I think <laughs> one of my subscribers who often contributes and uh, sends samples and he sent me I think this is where I got the idea to buy I'm pretty sure it is he sent me a sa sample of this uh, Sterling Arcadia and uh, I, I like that sample so much I bought a whole tub of it right here we go so this is the Kamasori it is a Chevette it's got a Gillette Wilkinson sword blade half blade in it brand new um, now there's a straight side and an angled side so I'm assuming that the the, the angle side is with the writing on it I would have thought that would be the side I would use um, but there again I, I, I don't know how I'm going to use it like that I, 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 I can't keep it on one side, so I'm just going to use it like I would any other straight and see how we get on. So spine down first, bring it down. That's nice. That feels very comfortable at the moment. Um, we'll have to see what it's like when I get to that side. So I was warned by Billy to make sure I've got the alum to hand. So I've got it. I don't th I think he means for the grip though. being very careful applying no real pressure to this <clears throat> it's very lightweight I, I do like something with a bit of weight to it um, this feels like the, you know it's featherweight this is um, should have put a feather blade in it <laughs> right so now it's going to be this side equally as nice no difference so, so far in terms of the shave feel. Interesting. I thought this was going to be a lot more aggressive than it actually is. But it's got a really nice smooth blade in it so that's going to help. You watch, I'm going to eat my words soon. Very nice, surprisingly good. <clears throat> so let's get the uh, 
lather off that cloth. As I, I wipe the lather off on this cloth, um, off the blade. So, forgive me if I'm not talking too much, I am concentrating, especially when I'm using a new style razor. I think I've got a weeper there. But weepers don't count, as I keep hearing. I thought they did, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's get some more of this superb lather. Nice and slick. Oh, look at that for a blooper. I mean, you can't go wrong with Sterling soaps. I have to say they, they, they are superb soaps and I've been looking forward to trying this. I've had this for a few weeks, sitting in the cupboard, waiting for its first use. Um, uh, and uh, it's uh, finally got its first outing. And I have to say, I'm impressed really impressed so let's get some water on the subject so here we go uh, now then it's against the uh, sorry across the grain so I'm going straight up on this side now this feels more dangerous <clears throat> That's uh, yeah, this is where I'm getting a little bit worried. Bit of Adam. feels all right but it definitely I could feel more of the blade that time um, so let's see how am I going to try Feels pretty good to be fair. As I say, I am being very, very light handed with this. I'm not applying any pressure whatsoever. I've, I've obviously got a weeper there, but um, Yeah, I mean, actually, this is far more comfortable than I thought it was going to be. I'm making sure that I'm keeping the angle very shallow. Um, I think that helps. I'm trying to clean off all the soap off this. 
Um, more water. So the second pass done. I'm getting a bit of sting off the water, so I think I'm getting very close to cutting myself with this. I can see there that I've definitely came, well, I've, I've removed the top few layers of skin there, I can see that. So, I'm going to try and make sure I don't have to do a pickup pass if at all possible. This is amazing. This soap is stunning. I have to say, every time I use sterling soaps, I'm always impressed. I mean, it's produced copious amounts of lather and uh, give me lots of cushion and protection apart from the one spot where I probably got a little bit too over enthusiastic so across the uh, sorry against the grain on this side is straight across Trying to get it. Yeah, it's jumping a little bit, so maybe it's not as slick as I'd want it to be, but <clears throat> I'm just not used to the razor, that's all. Right, Adam. can see this being I'm going I'm going to leave it there because I can feel that trying to dig in there Yeah, definitely making me nervous now. As I say, I'm trying not to, uh, not to do any pickups if I can. Definitely need some more there. Right, here we go. Very nice. Okay, 
So I'm hoping that's got everything. There is a little bit of claret there. All right, still rough there, but I can never get there. I'll try, but it's, uh, I'm taking my life into my hands here. Every time I try and do catch a bit more on this, it just aggravates my skin. But let's keep going. Hmm. Got quite a lot of it. Not all, but that'll do me. Right. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a three pass and a little bit of pickup shave with a Kamasuri shaver. <sighs> Certain muscles in my body were tightening a little bit. Um, but yeah, it, I got there in the end. Let's have a feel. That is as close as I'd expect to get to a BBS um, with the first use of a straight razor that I've not used before, so I'm happy with that. It's not quite, there are spots, I mean my cheeks are BBS. Um, down here, no. Usual spots, definitely not. But not too bad to be fair, very very close to BBS. Anyway, right, I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back and I've done it again. Uh, unfortunately I've put the alum on, I've had the cold rinse. I've put the alum on, got a 7 out of 10 sting in, on this side eight down here and about four over here so it just shows that my technique needs some work um, so yeah apologies for that can't believe i keep doing that lately um, so yeah i'm now um, just at the wipe off level so i'm going to wipe this alum off oh, this ice cold cloth really makes a difference you know I mean, it's not hot outside at all, but it's not cold either. And just using this on on your head and your face just wakes you up, you know. Right. So time for boots, tea tree, and witch hazel tonic face tonic. Oh, now that's interesting. There's hardly any sting. I think the alum's taken most of the sting out of it. That feels great. That feels really, really great. So, I think I've got away with it. On first time use with the splash. Oh yeah, that smells nice. Yeah, that's that's warming up nicely. <laughs> Definitely warming up nicely. Oh, very nice indeed. Very nice. I'm I'm not sure. I did try that sample of Hermes. I'm not sure how close this is. Uh, I certainly don't think that the scent will last as long as the Hermes one does. But. Um, it's a lovely scent. And then I'm finishing off with, so I don't know whether I showed you the bottle, but that uh, the Arcadia Aftershave Splash. And now I'm finishing off with the Aftershave Balm. So there you go. Um, first time I'm used to this, let's give it a shake. Okay, it doesn't need a shake. And let's see how runny this is. Oh, it's nice. So, that's all I'm putting in there. As CB says, pea size. <laughs> I do love it when he says that. Oh, well, that's an excellent shave for a first attempt. I know I will get better over time, but I'm very happy with that. I haven't drawn any serious blood. I've had a couple of weepers and they've stopped, so I'm more than happy with that shave. So um, that's it for today. I will be back for the head shave on Friday. 
So from me and this, I, I don't even know the name of this. TGS, TGS Camasori razor. Um, nice, nice razor, very lightweight. Um, I like to have a bit of heft in a razor, but this, this was nice. It was maneuverable. So it's bye bye from the uh, Kamasori, the TGS Kamasori, and uh, it's bye bye from me. I'll see you on Friday. Bye now.